Cremation gives you a variety of options in choosing a resting place. Family members are the ultimate decision makers on how to handle the ashes. If you want to bury your loved one's cremated remains, then you need various options for where and how to bury the remains. Stay tuned to learn all about burying cremated remains. Burying cremated remains. Burying ashes in a cemetery is one of the popular ways of laying to rest a loved one. A cemetery offers a sense of permanence. Besides, it's accessible and family members can visit at will. If you choose a cemetery, you'll have to pay for the plot. You can choose an urn that will be ideal for an earth burial. The urns are in different styles. Select one that complements the personality of the deceased. Cemeteries require urns to have a vault to protect the soil around the urn from collapsing. Most cemetery owners require the urn to be biodegradable. Have a cremation certificate to prevent any conflicts during the process. The rules for local authorities, cemeteries, and churchyards vary. Understand the conditions to know all the implications involved. You can set aside the plot for future burials of cremated remains of loved ones. Burying ashes is more affordable than burying a body, yet your faith and family traditions determine the kind of send-off to grant the deceased. Interring in a columbarium. A columbarium is a building that holds cremated remains. The columbarium has wall spaces referred to as niches. Once you put the ashes in an urn, you place it in the niche. Families place bronze plaques on the niche with the name of the deceased for future identification. There are several privately owned or government columbariums that mostly differ in prices. An urn garden. Urn gardens are special areas for ashes burial. The urn garden can be in a cemetery or a small plot. You can choose to have your urn above or under the ground. The cremated remains can be placed on landscapes that might include fountains or rocks. Mark the burial spot with a grave marker or headstone. You can liaise with the cemetery on decisions relating to memorialization. Having a monument on the urn garden is an ideal memorial. Consider a monument that's consistent with the preference and religion of the deceased's family. Work with the administration at the cemetery to know the best monument to erect. Public or private property. Burying ashes in either private or public property is legal. If you sell the property, it is prudent to disclose to the new owner about the human remains. You can exhume the remains and take them to your new property. On public land, such as a natural forest, getting permission from the relevant authorities is necessary. Get a permit to avoid any issues during the burial. In a national park in the U.S., there are several guidelines to consider. If you choose to scatter the ashes in a park, ensure it's in a less populated area. The scattering process should be through a private ceremony. If you need to have your ashes near the shore, local laws can offer enough guidance. Keeping ashes. Keeping ashes is a sentimental practice and family members should agree on this approach. Another option is to share the ashes among close friends and family members. Turning the ashes into beautiful glass pieces can make the ashes long lasting. The choice is ideal, especially if the deceased was artistic. Yet, it's important to keep in mind the beliefs and views of the family members on issues surrounding death. With the confusion and bewilderment following death, conflict on the cremation interment is unnecessary. For all your cremation needs, contact us. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.